Hi Blender fans and welcome again to Blender TC. In today's tutorial we're going to be making a cup. Let's just go over a few quick keys. We're going to be doing this in the modeling window and tab will take you in and out of edit mode. G will allow you to move things around. Control Z will undo. G and X will move it along the red line. G and Y across the green line and G and Z top to bottom along the blue line and control Z always undoes things so we can get back to the front right X deletes an object because we don't need this cube what we're going to do is make a cup and the closest thing we've got to a cup is a mesh and the mesh is a cylinder so let's just add in a simple cylinder what I'm going to do now is press the tab key and what we've got up here is point select, line select and face select select face select while you're in edit mode which you got to by pressing the tab key and we're just going to scale that down to get the basic cup shape and next we're going to add control and R in the center and scale that up by scaling our loop cut so we've got our basic shape of the cup so back out of edit mode add smooth shade as you can see we've got some distortion there so what we're going to do is actually tighten our lines so back into edit mode control and R at the base and with your mouse just move it down close to the bottom control and R move it close to the top and as you can see the distortion now has gone away I'm now going to go on face selects by selecting the square E to extrude S to scale this will scale the point down so we just take that up to about there and then I'm going to extrude again in the Z direction and just move it down with my mouse to about there and I'm I'm going to make the inside of the cup by scaling that down until it becomes the inside of the cup just to keep our topology cleaner for rendering I'm just going to uh, press E again and just scale that down into a point sort of thing now just to actually make this a sharp edge down here and make it cleaner control and R I'm going to put an edge close to that side Control and R, put one close to the top, and that's about it. I'd also like to put a little dip in the base, so E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, Z, just take it up slightly, and E to extrude and scale, just keeps our topology clean again, and just to make this a bit sharper. I'm going to put a loop cut in there and I'm just going to select that edge by pressing the alt key and just scale it up slightly just to give it that kind of shape. So now we've got a basic cup what we need now is to make our handle. So hit the one key, oh, sorry, you've got uh, perspective mode if you press the five key that takes you into orthographic and what I'm going to do is control and R just to add a loop cut about there control and R put another loop cut about there and control and R put one about there these are going to make my handle and one about there right so now I've got that I want to select as you can see you've got this green line going through your cup um, select that edge there, that edge there, that edge there and that edge there and I'm going to extrude in the Y direction press the Y until it goes to the way you wish it to go and just extrude slightly I'm just going to extrude again pressing the Y until it's about there so that's my handle of the cup and all I'm going to do now is grab this edge, this edge, this edge and this edge press GG will move them along themselves 
and just take them in like so. So we've now got that kind of shape. It's a bit stretched in places, but that will all come clean shortly. Back into edit node by pressing the tab key. Select that face there, select that face there, select that face there, and select that face there. We then hit the right click on our mouse, and what we're gonna do is bridge faces. I'm then gonna put a loop in this edge, and G and Y just to move it out a bit to make that kind of ear shape. And then pressing Control and Plus, just to select around that loop. As you can see, it's selected all those. And G and Z, just to move it up, just to make that ear shape that we that we all like to see on cups. And finally, just to finish our cup off and make it look just that little bit better, I'm going to add a modifier, and the modifier I add by hitting this spanner or wrench, add the modifier, and I'm going to add a subdivide surface modifier. So hit the subdivide surface modifier, increase it to 2 and apply by hitting the little arrow here, hit apply and that's it. We've finished our cup. Right, please subscribe to my channel. All we've got to do now is I'm going to uh, fetch the cup up to the Z, fetch it up to the top of the lines there. I'm just going to add in a quick table, so a quick table, which I'm going to use a cube, scale it in the Z direction, and just scale it up. Maybe scale it in the Z again. Oops, that's it. Scale it in the Z. So it's in the right position and G and Z just to move it up and down so I've now got a table with a cup on it and if we look through our camera as you can see it's not in the center of the shot so I'm just going to grab both and G and Z and move them down so it's back in the center of my shot and I might rotate R and Z to rotate the table just to give it that look that it's actually set on the table. G and Z, just move it down there. So that's setting our scene up. I'm just going to rotate this slightly because I think things that are offset slightly just look more realistic. All we seem to do. Right. We have done all the modeling in Eevee, so now what we're going to do is switch to cycles i'm going to set this up to gpu because i've got a gpu processor and i'm going to add a texture to my cup the texture i'm going to add to my cup is going to be a blue one so select the base color in fact put that a bit wider so we can see this easier select the base color and i'm going to change that to a blue make it slightly metallic in fact take it to about 0.68 and take the roughness down right we can't see anything changing here that's because we are not in the render mode so viewport shading go on the end one and as you can see we can now see our cup i'm just going to make this in uh, have a new material i'll make this quite like a beigey color just to make our table and then just to get some screen space reflect, uh, reflections for our, our cup, what I'm going to do is go into the world here and I'm going to add an HDRI. The HDRI I've got from uh, HDR Haven. So in, hit the environmental texture, which will turn your screen purple. And I'm just going to go to the place where I've got mine saved. You can add favorites into uh, Blender by just pressing plus, which is very handy. I'm going to HDRI and just select this, which is ba a basic room. As you can see, my cup, I'm going to make it a bit more reflective, just to reflect the room a bit more. And, and I think I'm going to make this table slightly reflective. And if I go into the cup and take the roughness down as you can see it's now 
reflecting the room and same with this I'm just going to take the actual take the table take the roughness down just so it reflects my cup as you can see you've got some reflection press F12 to render finish to ren finish rendering and there we have it it's rendered a simple cup and as you can see I think that's quite a realistic cup if you want to actually add different um, textures to the cup it's quite easily and I may cover that in a later tutorial thank you for joining me on blender TC and please support my channel subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell that way you'll get my next tutorial this is blender CC signing off thanks very much and bye